Welcome. This is Scott Spencer, uh, the founder and owner of Dental Growth Solutions. Um, appreciate you setting aside some time today. Um, you know, if you, I wanted to specifically talk about SEO. Probably one of the more confusing topics for dentists, dental professionals, but certainly one of the most important parts of web marketing. And I wanted to devote an entire video to this today. Um, if you're a dentist out there uh, struggling, uh, really understanding what the term SEO is, or uh, maybe you're in a, a you know very competitive market and you're struggling to, to get your web website visible where it needs to be to get patients, set aside 10, 15 minutes here. I can guarantee you this will be extremely valuable for you and your practice. So, um, so let's start by exactly, you know, what is SEO? And I get this question quite often. Um, in a nutshell, you know, number one, it stands for search engine optimization. Okay. In a nutshell, SEO is the practice of formatting your website um, so it can be highly visible in the organic searches online. And I say organic, those are the natural searches on the left side of the page to attract more visitors, okay? And so again, there's a common term, out of sight, out of mind. So the first step with any kind of marketing is making sure your website is highly prominent in all the online searches, search engines, the business listings, the directories, and so on. So that's exactly what I do. Now, how important is SEO? Let's start right there, because as I said, it's not only important, it's really critical to marketing. And, and I have some statistics here I'd like to share with you just to kind of emphasize how important this is. So first and foremost, 93% um, of online experiences begin with a search engine. What that tells you is 93 out of 100 people that start a search are gonna start with a search engine. So if they're investigating, looking for a service, in this case a dentist, they're gonna start with a Google, a Yahoo, or a Bing, a search engine. So very important to be visible in the searches. Secondly, 70% of the link search users 70% of the links that search users click on are organic. So what that means, when I say organic, those are the natural search links, not the paid ads. So I'm sure you've heard of Google AdWords. I'm not saying they're never relevant, but if you look at the statistics, 70% of the search links are organic. So that means only 30% are using those ads. So the vast majority of users are clicking on those natural links that are found through search engine optimization. So very, very important. 75% uh, of users never scroll past the first page. What does that tell you? If they don't, people don't find what they want on the first page of Google, they're probably not going to the second page. They're probably going to do a different search. They type in Brooklyn Dentist, they don't find what they want, they're going to type in Brooklyn Family Dentist, Brooklyn Cosmetic Dentist. They're not going to scroll to the second page. So that tells you it's absolutely critical to be found somewhere on the first page. You don't have to be at the top, but you need to be in the game. And that means being somewhere on that first page in the Google searches. Fourth, SEO is the top driver of traffic to sites, beating social media by 30%. So that means the vast majority of traffic that's coming to your website is coming through the organic searches and the search engines. So again, another important statistic. Uh, this may be the most startling. And, this, and for web marketing, for dentists, this really stands out. 14.6% SEO leads have a 14.6% close rate. Outbound leads, 1.7%. And when I say what outbound, I mean print advertising, direct mail. Startling. So SEO leads, about one out of every six people, what is it, 15%, one out of every six leads will give you a new patient to your practice doctor. So very, very important. And not only that, what this tells you too is, this is the most cost-effective way to advertise for your business. So not only the most effective, it's the most cost-effective too. So certainly want to make sure you understand just how critical SEO is to your web marketing. So now that we've discovered how, how critical, how important SEO is, let's talk a little bit about um, types of SEO. And uh, there's two main types of SEO. You know, there's on-site and off-site. I'm going to start with the on-site search engine optimization. And one thing with my program, important to understand, I'm very, very thorough with my on-site SEO. It's the foundation 
of any SEO. So you have to make sure you're addressing all the areas. So first and foremost, I start with the core structure of the website, okay? And this means the XML sitemaps. You know, back, what, a decade ago or whatever, the Google, the search engine started adopting the XML sitemaps. And what that is, it's a blueprint, basically, of your website. It's gonna tell the web crawlers where the content can be found on, the, on your site. It's like a map. It's gonna allow those robots to index your site more effectively. So, along with that, there's the robot text. That's a text file. Um, each site has one. You need to make sure each site has one. And so that's my job to get in, make sure the text file is formatted correctly and it's there. And it's gonna. It's a text file. It tells basically the web crawlers how to index your site. Okay. And then you have the redirects. Redirects always an important part, especially when you're transitioning from one site to another. So it's, you know when you when you want to make sure that you redirect certain pages so that they link to other relevant pages, so that you're spreading the link juice. You know, if there's lots of, if there's a high volume of links to certain pages, you don't want to lose those when you transition to a different site. You want to redirect it. So that's my job to make sure we're spreading the link juice and making sure there's, we, we cut down on those 404, you know, the not found errors that can, can kill your site. So now, beyond the core structure, you have the page structure. And with page structure, um, there's several layers. First, you have the uh, the title tags. Title tags, you know, I can boost the ranking of a website very quickly simply by formatting the title tags. Title tags, although they're not seen on the actual website, they are seen in the organic searches, and they are, you know, uh, keywords that Google reads to t to figure out what the page is about. So, well, my job is to make sure I title. Keyword, you know, keywords that are, are high volume, you know, that people are searching for in your community, and then make sure we format those in the title tags so that you can, you know, that you can be found for those searches. So very important. Also, the meta descriptions. Now, people often ask what a meta description is. If you go on a organic search in Google and you look up a search list, and you'll always see the, the title tags on the, in the searches, you'll see the URL for your website, and you'll see a description below the URL. That is the meta description. A very important part, the meta description, the, the important part about the metas is making sure they're like a captivating call to action. The idea is to, to, I create them with your keywords to get people to click through to your listing. The idea is to get people to click through to your listing. So you want to use keywords, you also want to use it in a way where there's a call to action, where you get them to click through to your site. Now, also the alt tags. Now alt tags are the tags associated with photos. Um, of course, the search engines, the web crawlers can't read photos. So what you have to do is put text in there with descriptive keywords so that Google can read you know, the text behind the photos and they can see, you know, you want to make sure you're using relevant keywords to help you get better indexed for that, for that page, what you're targeting. So again, it's another important part. You want to make sure you have alt tags for all your images on your website. Very important. Also, URL formatting. The URL formatting, um, you want to make sure all your permalinks, your URLs are streamlined, you know, so that you want to make sure they're concise, they're streamlined, not too long, and they have your keywords. You know, if you're focused in Brooklyn Dennis, you want that to be hopefully in your URL for that page. You know, so you want to make sure that you, you, you're efficient with that part of the, the process. Third thing is usability. With usability, you want to make sure the mobile compatibility is there. With all the devices these days, you make sure it's visible on all platforms. Androids, iPhones, tablets, iPads, whatever device you're on, it needs to load quickly, it needs to be formatted to the page, preferably a responsive format, but at least mobile friendly, at the very minimum. But uh, that's something I do, I help you format it, make sure, it, and that leads to my next point, you know, the, the load speed, you want to make sure it loads quickly. So many times I'll compress images, use cache plugins, use a change web host, uh, fix broken links, and so on. I have a, a large list of factors I go through to make sure your page is loading quickly. If it doesn't load quickly, you lose engagement with patients very quickly. People don't have time, they don't want to wait around an hour to get on a site. So it's got to load. It also hurts your Google ranking. Sites that load quicker don't show up as well in the searches. You want to make sure that that's corrected. Flash frames, uh, usually a thing of the past. With flash frames, of course, Google can't read flash in the search engines. So you need to make sure, for the most part, those are non-existent. If they are, I try to make sure they're in a jQuery format or something that can be indexed. Finally, you've got the health check, number four. Now, with, with health checks, it's really going through and making sure there's no broken links, no 404 not found errors. 
Um, that hurts the usability of the site. You know, the, you, you want to make sure the user experience is good. It also hurts the load time. So you want to make sure those are out of. The, you also want to make sure there's no duplicate content. Many of you doctors out there, you're using these, you know, turnkey sites with thousands of clients with the same duplicate content. Not productive. Google doesn't like duplicate content. If you're being optimized the same as 50 other people, it's not going to make you stand out over them. Certainly not going to help you as far as your indexing. So I want to make sure what I do is I tailor the content. Content will be unique to your target market, your niche, you know, the specific procedures you're targeting. Okay. Then the final thing we have is internal linking. Internal linking is very important these days. It's a way to link from pages, you know, in your site to other pages in your site. So the idea is to take the link juice, the power of that home page, and link it to other pages on your site to help them rank. So you want to take you know those, all the power and juice and, and authority of that home page, and you want to link you know want to spread that link juice to the internal pages. So if you want to link about implants, you want to link about Invisalign. You need to link from that home page with the anchor text, the keywords to those internal pages, and it's a big important part of SEO. So now let's talk about this, the second part of SEO. We talked about on-site, off-site SEO. Off-site SEO, um, there's three major types. Uh, that has to do with SEO, you know, any type of SEO factor not on your website. And there's three main areas I focus on here. Uh, first, I focus on citations. Now, citations, uh, people ask, what are citations? There, any listing of your business on the internet is a, what's called a citation. It can be a directory listing, it can be a business listing, it can be a search engine, but any listing you have online of your business is considered a citation. And the idea is to generate as many consistent citations as possible online uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, citations are going to um, improve your visibility online. The more listings you have, the more exposure you have. The more exposure you have, generally the more patience you get. So a very important part of SEO is getting citations. And I, li I list you on general citations, niche citations, hyper-local citations in your city. I make sure you're listed everywhere and most importantly, accurately everywhere because this is a big ranking factor. All of these listings feed data to Google. And the, if Google's seeing different signals coming in, you know, one business is Johnson Family Dental, the next one's Doug Johnson DDS, Guess what? That's not the same business to Google. You have to have the same consistent citations everywhere. Google is a robot. It cannot reason. So you have to send it the right signals or you will not get the indexing you're looking for. So that's what I do. I make sure you're listed accurately everywhere. It's a big factor also in the Google Maps. People often ask me, how do I get in that Google 3 pack where everybody's getting the patients at the top of the first page? You get your citations accurate, synced, and on a high volume of them in your market. So. Second thing, link building. Link building, going back in time, this is the most significant factor that's been consistent over the last two decades, and it has not changed. Many things have changed with Google, social media, reputation, the way. Links are the one factor that have stayed consistent. And when I talk about links, I'm talking about building high quality links from other authoritative sites, you know, relevant sites to your niche in your market back to, you know, to your site. So you're building from links from other sites to your site. And the idea, this does a, a couple things. Number one, the more links you can get to your site, the more authoritative, you know, the more relevant Google sees you generally in the search. So you wanna make sure, it's like votes. The more votes you get, the person with the most votes wins. So it's the same thing with links. It's not the only factor, but it's a big factor. So very, very important. Second thing about uh, when you're looking at link building, is with link building, it also drives traffic to your site. If you can get links coming from other sites, it's going to drive traffic to your site. So very, very important part of it too. So that's that. Now, the last thing, and the third part of off-site SEO is blog promotion. Now, most of you dentists out there, you guys know blogs. Uh, many of you have them. Uh, the thing to understand about blogs is, is why, you know, what's important about them and why they're important. Now, first important, when you look at an effective blog, it has to be consistent. You have to be posting consistently high authority articles, infographics, videos, whatever you're posting on a consistent basis. So what I do is I build one substantial, usually a thousand pages or so article every month 
for my clients that's unique to their market, and I do it every month for them. And it's very important because that builds a channel of authority with Google. And when Google sees somebody building, you know, you know, content that's engaging and relevant, you know, over and over again, it sees you as a more authoritative source, as a more relevant source, and they tend to index you higher. So very, very important. It also is a great way to drive traffic. If you're right, if you're building engaging posts that are being indexed highly where people can see them, it's going to drive more traffic to your site. So naturally, again, it's important to understand that, um, like I said, it's, these are all pieces of the puzzle. And when you look at SEO and all the things I'm talking about, it's not one thing that's going to get you ranked. It's, it's having the complete puzzle. And that's what I do. I put all the pieces together, make sure we address them all in an effective manner, and then you usually get the results you're looking for. So now we, we reach a really important topic. You know, what makes Dental Growth Solutions unique? What makes me different? There's a ton of SEO companies, so what makes this approach that I use different from all these guys that are knocking on your door, that are coming in? So let me be very clear on this, because this is very important. First and foremost, I use extensive keyword research. Okay, remember, this is boutique. This is customer. So when I, because I only take on a select number of clients, I'm able to have the time and resources to do extra research specifically for you. Most of these companies that are taking on thousands of clients, it's robotic, it's systematic. They take your city, they plug in a few keywords, the same keywords for everybody, not me. What I do is I look at the volume of searches for each keyword in your market and I tailor that specific format. What's interesting to note is sometimes when you do Dennis Brooklyn, you're getting 500 searches a month. When you do Brooklyn Dennis, you're only getting 100. So if you follow my point, you have to target the right variation of keywords. If you're not targeting the right keywords, you're not, you know, it's great to be number one in searches, but if nobody's searching for the search, it doesn't help. So I make sure we're focusing on keywords that are going to drive traffic to your site. Second thing, extensive competitor market research. I do extensive research on your competitors. I look at, hey, if we're trying to rank in Miami, What's the number one doctor in Miami have? How many citations? How many social media signals? How, how many reviews? I look at them case by case so we can make sure you're getting, you know, they're posting two blogs a month, we need to post three blogs a month. So point is we make sure we have stronger signals and stronger factors than they do to make sure you beat them. So that's important. Also making sure, you know, I, again, I, I look at your market, the type of market you're in, the niche that you're in too, which is very important. Third thing, a customized strategy for your target market. Very, very important to remember with SEO is that all these companies that talk to you that have thousands of members, they have the same content, uh, the same approach for every doctor, not me. When I'm doing an approach, it's going to be unique for your farm town or your metropolitan area or your laid back you know, seaside village. The point is it's going to be customized for you. We're going to be using the signals that are going to get you ranked. And again, when I make posts, when I make content, it's unique to you, and it's a very, very important part of what I do. Uh, number D, exclusive. The fourth part is it's exclusive. When I market somebody, I'm only taking on one client per market. So what that means is unlike these other doctors, you know, these other marketing companies that are trying to take on as many doctors as they can, often three or four in your own market, you, know, you cannot do that. Because if you're optimizing four guys in the same market the same way, with the same platform and the same strategy, it's not going to work. So mine's unique. It's, cause it's exclusive to your market. You're the only one using my platform in your market. So it's very important. Dental specific. Another important part about me is I work exclusively with dentists. I have for 14 years now. So one of the big benefits of working with me is I know dentistry back and forth. I know the industry, I know what works, I know what doesn't work. I know all in four, I know CEREC and laser and sedation and tongue tie and every kind of procedure related to dentistry. So I have content writers, the bottom line is I have the resources specifically for dentists and you're gonna benefit from that. Low risk and economical. When you look at this, uh, one another big factor when you look at the way I do SEO is I'm, I set it up in a way where there's no contract, there's no setup fee. It's set up very low risk so that it, there's no penalty to cancel. It's month to month in a subscription fashion. So you're gonna be able to have it in a way where it's very low risk. And again, if it's working great, if not, you can go a different direction. 
but there's really not any kind of financial risk on your end, which is really important with SEO. And finally, when you look at the last topic, the last thing that really sets me apart is I micromanage. You know, and what I mean by that is I have monthly phone consultations. One of the great things about working with me is that when you work with me, you have somebody that, you know, is because I regulate my number of clients, I micromanage your specific account. I do monthly phone conference, you know, consultations every month so that you understand those reports that I'm sending you. You understand the strategy we're using. If we need to change directions and, and increase and get more aggressive with an area or I need to explain something to you, you understand because I'm on the phone with you. And so it's a big difference than these other companies where you just get reports you don't understand, you can't get a hold of anybody, not the case. You're gonna love the attention, you're gonna love the micromanagement, most importantly, you're gonna love the results. And that's what it's all about. So if you're a dentist out there, you've been struggling with understanding SEO or maybe you just don't, you know, you, you want to put more focus on it, you want to try to be more aggressive with your strategy, I encourage you to reach out to me. My consultations are free. You can always reach me directly, 951-696-7550. You also are welcome to email me. Uh, email is scott at webdgsdentalgrowthsolutions.com. Thanks again. Uh, I look forward to assisting you.